ain't no thing that anybody can do to cause Babylon or America to come out of the debt, to come out of the economic collapse, to come out of the impending doom, that being the new thermonuclear missiles. There ain't nothing you can do to deliver Babylon. The prophecy's been set and written. Okay, and the nations, what are the nations? The nations are going to be the ones striking you with them, Mr. Okay? The nations are going to be the ones delivering their missiles right upon them. Okay? And that's the prophecy. So Babylon is not going to be healed. And America is still going to be destroyed. Somebody give me a... Uh, I don't know if y'all got anything. Somebody give me a second Peter's third check. Okay. Got some? Second Peter's three verse. Yeah, you can start at one. Verse one. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. That ye may be mindful of the words which are spoken. Before the holy prophets. Yeah, now, the good thing to note right there is the things that the prophets were speaking before was a, a great destruction on the wicked kingdoms. So now with that being said, the Lord left behind scriptures, okay, and the scriptures written that tell you what. Uh, we're in Peter's, right? Somebody get me, uh, what is it, Second Peter's 2? And, uh, roughly verse 7. I'm going to give you one of those examples of the things to be mindful that were spoken before by the prophets. Well, this is, uh, Second Peter's chapter 7, verse 2. <laughs> Second Peter's chapter 2, verse 5. Uh -huh. And God spared not the whole world, but saved Noah, the every person. <laughs> See, uh, uh, the Wally niggas, the bloody Miami is, uh, made the statement, uh, the book of Jack Daniels, no, no correction. Second Peter's chapter 2, verse uh, 5. And spared not the whole world, but saved Noah, the every person, a preacher of righteousness. Bring it in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Right, so that was the first, that was the first death. The first death destroyed all those that were ungodly. And the Most High saw it fit to save eight souls. Noah, his sons, and their wives. So that would have been the chosen at the time. That would have been the Lord's elect at that time. Okay? So now... Bring it up to this time period, that's the what? The prophets and the men that are doing the work. Those are the, the, those are the chosen, alright? Or the men that have been elected to perform a particular task, which is teaching the scriptures. Alright? And what was Noah doing that whole time that the Lord was telling him, look, this is going to be a flood. What was Noah doing? Preparing. So now what are we doing? We're preparing, man. Our body, mind, and soul is in preparation for the destruction, for the utter chaos that's getting ready to come. And our mentality is being built up to where, hey, if we got to die, we got to die. But the ultimate goal is to receive salvation if it be the Lord's will. You know? And we know what we got to do if we want to receive that mercy from the Most High. Let's continue to push, push the truth to death. And that's what it comes down to. Alright? I'm not saying these things lightly, man. I'm saying these things as serious as serious can be. And I... Don't even got the full extent of it, you know? Because... What's that? Uh, not, 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 not.
Well, I thought it was like fucking screaming. Yeah, screaming. And she didn't say nothing. And she didn't say nothing. We still out here. We still out here, that's right. So, but the point that I was trying to make was, you know, we can visualize what it's going to be like, but until that time period, man, you know, it's basically like a fantasy, you know, or, or, or you know, a somewhat an, an envision. I've already had a few dreams about all kinds of destruction, man, people dying on the left of me, people dying on the right of me, but... No, myself and the men that I'm with get delivered every time, man. But it's literally by what they say, uh, they got that saying, the skin of your teeth, okay? And that's in accordance with, and the righteous be scarcely saved. So, you know, I, I don't take any of this lightly, man. Second right. Peter's chapter two verse five. It's bearing not the whole world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, yep. bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Bringing in the flood of the world of the ungodly. So, I mean that that's self-explanatory. The ungodly are those that didn't for heed the warning and prepare. Just like in this day and age, man. Just pan around the camera. All the sign, all this information, all this knowledge we have to share with our people. This block should have been filled up, man. It's gonna take a lot of catastrophic events for our people to get it. Right. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Right. Condemn them with an overthrow. Woo. Condemn them with an overthrow. Right. Making them an example unto those that after shall live on God. And that's an example unto the, all the kingdoms after that. That if wait, that's the same thing that's inevitably going to happen to them. So now, look at America. Does America fit? That first spirit of the ancient times? Yes, it does. And then some, man. America is basically the most wicked kingdom on the face of the planet or of all time. In the ancient kingdoms, they make you... world, when a certain particular ruler was ruling, he'd make you what? Worship that particular God. Now here in America, you can worship any damn God you want to. You can be your own God. So wickedness has greatly, greatly, greatly increased. Pursuant to, uh, what is it? First Maccabees? The first chapter, right around the 8th uh, verse? Since the very first installment of the so-called white man coming into power. All right? And deliver just light, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. With that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing that is his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Their unlawful deeds, man. So, I was forewarned, hey, look, this place is about to be destroyed. Get, get you, your family, up out of there. And guess who looked back? The woman. Most high judgment. Jewish made it to a pillar of salt. The majority of you are going to have that same mentality. You're going to hold on to this society 
this way of living for as long as you possibly can. And you're going to get judged for it. Right? It says, the verse 9, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, the Lord know how to do the sorry. Lord know how to deliver the, the godly out of temptation. Yeah, the most I know is how to deliver the godly out of temptation. That's fine. You know, we're trying to do we're trying to do right as we possibly can by the most I. Not about what these people see or how people see us, man. We, we want to know how does how does the most high view us, you know? We're doing what's acceptable in the sight of the Lord. That's all I care about. Life and the answer to the tongue is from the most high, right? So my life is in his hand. Yeah. Go ahead. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. And that's why, that's why these people that commit all these wickedness and these homosexuals and lesbians and live mouth bitches, they're gonna continue to become proud, be proud. And do their wickedness till the judgment comes. So they're, they're technically in the right sphere. Right? Most High is allowing them not to receive correction specifically so that they can receive the most horrible judgment possible. But hey, the elect. The men have been chosen to, 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 to wake up the elect and bring in fruit worthy of repentance. The Lord said he, he knows how to deliver us, all right? And so far to this day, there hasn't been one uh, situation that we've gotten into or gone through without being delivered. Of his coming. Yeah, now we deal with that damn near uh, on a week to week basis, you know? It's yeah. still here. Uh, and, and, and then you got God, oh, when, when's the kingdom coming? Oh, well, where's America going to be destroyed? Where's America going to be destroyed? Man, you, you, you're living in a time where it, it could happen today, tomorrow. Next week, a month, because all the prophecies are in line. Hey, that helicopter getting suspicious, right? <laughs> yeah, we got this helicopter basically flying, flying around. I got it. So, but hey, you know, something about to go down. Oh, it's gonna deliver us, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, we hope we hope so, man. We, we hope that's you know not somebody just bullshitting up there. You know? Hopefully, something does happen. Man. So, yeah, kind. Of, you know, maybe a uh, 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 a terrorist attack about to go down down there at City Hall. You know, whatever it is, you know, I believe that the Lord gonna deliver us, so I, I ain't gonna worry about it. Right. It says, in saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the promise fell asleep, all things continue as they work from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God, the heavens were of all, and the earth standing out of, out of the water, and in the water, but by the world that then was being overflowed with water, perished. God. So they're, they're willingly ignorant to the fact that America's about to be destroyed. Just not with water, with fire. And the Lord is coming back to bring judgment. And a lot of our people, they, they don't have the mentality to be in preparation for what's to come. So, when 
majority of you all are going to die, man. That's it. The judgment's been written. The delusion's been chosen. A lot of you all are going to get caught up with the RFID microchip that we've been telling you is going to come, that the elders been telling you that it's going to come. A lot of you are going to get thrown in a concentration camp. A lot of you all are going to starve to death. For those who have escaped the hunger part, the missiles are going to destroy. For your ignorance, for your pride, it's all a matter of time. We already read to you that the wicked is basically reserved, man. Reserved for judgment. Reserved for what? Reserved for death, for torment, for misery. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto, the, unto fire against the day of judgment, the condition of ungodly men. Exactly. The same word that was then, is the same word that is now. So, the prophecy is that, this time around, Okay, Babylon, so-called white man, okay, or America is going to be taken out via the nuclear destruction. This time around, the second death is through fire. Do we read uh, Second Peter's about how it said? They were eating and drinking, giving in the marriage. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. Well, somebody can get that in Matthews. Giving and eating and drinking. Alright? Go ahead and read. Just listen. You'll, you'll figure it out. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Right, so all this is being kept in store. America, okay, these nations, the so-called white men, two-thirds, they're being saved to the day of judgment. The day of judgment is what? When Mosai allows them nuclear missiles from these nations, America, at the same time, simultaneously, the Lord and the angels coming and bringing their brand of fire. Okay? That's why America's still up and running. That's why the so called white man is still up in power. Because his prophecies to be fulfilled. Once the prophecies all take place, and, the, and guess what? The grand prophecy of America's destruction is going to fall right in line. But until then, an economic collapse has got to come. Right? Martial law has got to be declared. The RFID microchip has got to be implemented on a much larger scale. The race war has got to pop off. Oh, that's right. Yep. Which is all going to lead to World War III, which we're already headed there now. Huh? I can't hear you. this thing upon uh, uh, color. It's about nationality. And the Lord, the Lord has us separated through nationality, okay? 
the Lord decided that he was going to make different nations on the planet. Hold on a second. Let me finish my statement. Now, he has one nation set up, okay, in particular, known as the Israelites, which just happened to consist of what you would call today's society, Negro, Hispanic, and Indian descent. That's what they're known as today. The Lord set up those men to literally possess the kingdom to come. Anybody who does not fall in line, okay, with the Israelites and who they are realistically, because the so-called white man is not a Jew, he's an Edomite. Because you do have those ambassadors in the land of Israel claiming to be the Lord's people and they're not. So just to clarify that, we are the Lord's chosen. That's the way the Lord set it up. It ain't about what I think or how I feel or what you think or how you feel. This is what the Lord, the power of all the heaven and all of the earth, set up and designed. Can somebody give me Isaiah 40 15. I'm sure you have some. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Yes, yeah, so basically all the nations, they, they, got, they got an inheritance, okay? The so-called white man, which is biblically Esau, he got his inheritance. Look at, look at the inheritance of the so-called white man. Look at it. This is his kingdom. He makes the law, okay? He's the one who says to build these buildings, right? He's in his kingdom right now. Alright? We stand for the world. So the so-called white man got his inheritance and his blessing. But it just so happens that he's getting ready to come out of power. And that's not that's not me just being racist, that's realistic. Who makes the laws? Let me put you in Who's got who's got their own army? Who, who's got their own army, right? Their own army. And is in every other nation's business. Oh, America. Very good. And who's the head of that army? The so-called white man. That's not nothing racist about that. That's just the, that's just the truth. You are so gone. You don't even understand. What do you got? Have a cool two verse four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Yeah, his soul moves is lifted up, meaning his pride is not upright in him. Meaning, so-called white man is not a righteous man. There's no righteousness in Esau. I'm not or righteous, you know, okay. me, you know me, say I'm not righteous. If you, if you're, I'm going to tell you this. You know me? I'm going to tell you this right now. If your forefather goes back to the so-called white man, who's biblically Esau, there is no good in Always got white. That's not true. No, brother, here's white. No, he's not. But I tell you, did I tell you it's not a color thing? Yes, I did. But you making it a race thing? I'm making it a race thing. Race goes back to the word what? Okay. Race goes back to the word gene. And how do you get your genes through your father? I told you it's not. It's not. A, it's not a color thing. Dude, ain't none in that Bible said anything about race. Is there? He told me one time. He does. He's reading it to you. I said. He's reading it to you. Hey, Deuteronomy. No, 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 Deuteronomy 32. Listen. We're reading it to you. Listen. We're at the bottom. Nothing said about uh, hey, uh, anybody, does it? <laughs> yep. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. You are, Listen. You are so twisted. You don't understand that part, bro. Listen. You point it at at what you say in man's way. We read the scriptures. It's 66 books. I am a man. Read, I am a man. Read, read and I'm moved by the Holy Spirit. Right? I'm a man moved by the Holy Spirit. I'm a man moved by the Holy you Spirit. So what's wrong with that? Well, let's deal with the nations. Okay, with the race. I'm not, I'm not speaking of false gospel because I'm coming out the Bible, no, which is the no, Lord's gospel, dude, right? You were right. putting your own saying to so it. Deuteronomy 32 verse 8. When the Most High, you want to listen to the word. Read. When the Most High divided to the Wait a minute, the Most High did what? Divided to the nations. Divided. 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 
divided, separated, divided. Why did the Lord do that? Well, okay, that's right. Finish it. Finish it. Are you? When he separated the sons of Adam. When he separated. Right. Go on. For what reason? <laughs> go on. He set the bells of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. He set the bells of the people. He set the bells of the people. Read. According to the number of the children of Israel. So there it is. For the Lord's portion is his people. So the Lord's portion is his people. His people are the Israelites. But you can't listen. That's self-explanatory. No, 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 so he gave the land. He gave the land. I'm milk and honey to the Israel. You got the so that was his gold. portion. You got to try and then not the land. Not, not the Lord say, hey, you can inherit that land. Hey, and honey, that's for you as an inheritance of you my people. And then, you probably in order for us to even get that land, in order for us to even get that land, did we not have to destroy the Canaanites? We had to destroy another nation to get that land. We had to destroy, the Lord commanded us to destroy all the Canaanites living up in that land. Because before, before the uh, 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 land was called Israel, and named after our forefather Jacob, it was known as what? Name, the land of Canaan. Brother, what's your name? You see that? Brother, what's your name, brother? Go ahead. Brother, what's your name? For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the light of the inheritance. <laughs> He found him in a desert land and in a waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. That's perfect. That's beautiful, man. He kept us as the apple of his eye, man. And then, um, Isaiah 14 and 15 here. We're very desirous unto the most high, man. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the aisle as a very little thing. Uh, verse, uh, Isaiah 14, uh, 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust in the balance. So, so you take a, well, you can get a second message too. So you take a big ass bucket of water, the bucket, the big bucket of water will represent Israel, and that small drop will uh, be considered the other nation, okay? So they're, they're nothing. So I'm going to jump right down to verse uh, 17. Okay. Verse uh, 16. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts are sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. So all the nations, they can't sacrifice anything to the Most High so the Most High can uh, make them their people, you know? Or the Most High consider them, you know? All nations before him are as nothing, and they're counted to him less than nothing in vanity. All nations before the Most High are nothing. So the so-called white man, especially the proudest man on earth, because he thinks he's, he's better than the Most High. The Most High, he said he's nothing. Right? You know? And, and, and uh, Obadiah, it tells him that he's uh, less than nothing. Uh, he never put, he's insignificant. Okay? He, made a, he was made small, small than a heathen. Smaller than a heathen. You get what did you want? Uh, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing. And they are counted to them less than nothing. So how do you how do, are you compared to less than nothing? You know? That basically shows you how the most high doesn't give a damn about you other nations. Okay? Yeah, I guess I'm Is that uh, real quick? Oh. You want me to start from, uh, no, uh, small alone, even, uh, uh, yeah, I got it. Oh, no, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, ah, let me start at 1. Ah, I'll just read the precept and I'll come down. This is Obadiah 1 and 1. The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord, power concerning Edom. All right? So Edom is today would be the so-called white man. Huh? White woman. Okay, the sinners of Esau. Okay? Wow. This is verse the two. Mosai, he doesn't have, just have indignation for one person, but the whole entire world. Father God, first chapter 20. It says, Behold, 
I have made thee small among the heathen. When you look at the word small is the Hebrew word with time, which means word small is the Hebrew word with time, which means insignificant. Okay? Though all these the white men uh Goddamn, he accomplished all these achievements, but yet he's still less than nothing. He's insignificant. He's he's uh, uh, beneath consideration. Okay? He's uh, he's uh, he's repudiated as nothing. Uh, crap, I'm trying to get some. Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So that was clear. It said, You only of all, of all the families of the whole earth. Give me that Exodus 4 22. Of all the families of the whole earth have he known, which is the nation of Israel. That was the chosen people from, from then until even until now. Until everlasting, you know? Shit. Got it? Yeah. Okay, I got that. Three seconds back. I'm gonna need a charger now. No, no, that's fine. Should I exit 422? Yep. It's not exit chapter 4, verse 22. Now shall say unto the Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord. Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. And I shall say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So there it goes again. Israel is the most high's chosen. That's a, like, that's a stumbling block to niggas, man. Because they, uh, Israel wasn't the first people created on the planet Earth. No, we're just saying that Israel was God's chosen. Okay? And we were here. Okay, uh, the, the angels that created the, uh, the world, you know, those are Israelites. So they became Adamites during that time. Uh, jumping back, this is Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Because I got a precept to go right along with yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. So this is this is the vision concerning uh, not just one man, okay, but the whole tribe of Adawam or Esau, man. I shot you, okay. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen; thou art greatly despised. Thou art greatly despised. Everybody hates so for white men, okay, including the Hanbash and Yalshash. They have complete and utter hatred for the so-called white men, okay, and it's entire race, okay? Alright. The word despise means to regard with contempt, distaste, disgust, or disdain, scorn, or loathe. And that's the quality of the so-called white, that's the effect that the so-called white man has on the planet Earth, that he's basically the most hated, okay? Because people today are waking up to the so-called white man's wickedness, and his wicked doings on the planet Earth. This is a uh, real quick Job 30. And, uh, Six, to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Just to let you know who he's talking about, right? Yeah, this is before <laughs> Esau, the so-called white man, came into power. That's why he called himself Caucasian. Huh. Which means cave dwellers. Okay? It says, among the bushes they braid, and the nettles they were gathered together, they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men, they were viler than the earth. The yeah, only a, a, a fool, like the elders always say, will pollute the, uh, the air he breathes, the food he eats, you know, the ground he walks on, he pollutes the minds of the people, you know, etc. The food you eat, if I, if I didn't say that, you know, he polluted the whole world. Uh, give me uh, Revelations 11. It's Revelations chapter 11. You want me to uh, be... Okay. And the nations were angry. It's so like this is Revelations 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and then that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. The sins destroyed them which destroyed the earth, which is as Esau, okay? Esau, he's destroying his whole world, you know? He's not sustaining it, he's destroying it. Because that was his, his job and purpose on earth. He had to win. 
16 verse 4 it says the Lord hath made all things for himself yeah even the wicked for the day of evil even the wicked for the day of evil God created wickedness okay and he embodied it in the, in the people the so called white man okay he's the devil and Satan on earth that's right Said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations the nakedness and thy kingdoms thy shame. Uh, Nahum chapter 3, verse 5 Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. Behold, the most sides of this, okay? Though you say, uh, God bless America, you know, you put the, uh, what did it say on the dollar bill? In God we trust. In God we trust, yeah, yeah. you know? With the, oh, guess, guess what? The most sides of this, okay? Even though you deceive all the people in the to thinking that that God was dealing with them, you know that this is uh, Jesus Christ. Even though that's the fucking devil that the Bible speaks of. No, but it, it was a, a real actual man named Chuck Borgia. who lived during the uh, 1400s. Now discover thy skirts upon thy face. You discover thy skirts, meaning your wickedness. And he's going to he's going to show it to your face. That's why you got the internet. You got different media sources exposing. You. White man's wickedness, okay? And you got his prophets out here, okay? Which means he's given the spirit by how about some outside to come out here and condemn the so called white man. To condemn his uh, world and to uh, raise up to the, the elect and back to the how about some outside. Uh, give me Ezekiel 35 real quick. This is um, Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting yes, covenant. That's that the earth is defiled, especially in America, you know, like homosexuals, you know, nothing but fucking wickedness, man. You know, you had a nigga come up here earlier, a fucking faggot, man. I'm talking about his, his dad was a mason. Like the brother mission, his dad is a, is a homosexual too, man. Give me a... Isaiah chapter 3 verse 9. The, the show of their countenance doth witness against them. And they, they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. And they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. So this place was just set up to be destroyed, you know? Um, give me that real quick. Uh, as an example. Yeah, give me some of these real quick. Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an, exa an, ex uh, an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So the same way Sodom and Gomorrah went out is the same way America's going to go out, okay? So it's a memorial, too. Yeah, like a brother says, it's going to be as a memorial, okay? Uh, verse 7, and delivered just a lot. Oh, uh, 2 Peter 2 and 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And as an example unto those that should after live ungodly. So America is going to be that next example, okay, of those that should live ungodly. Yeah, that final example. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, 
Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord uh, God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. So you basically you can't get mad at the messengers, man, because we were sent to condemn you. As the scripture just said, man. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Set thy face against Mount Seir. So again, the most eyes against the so-called white. And today he's in power. Okay, this is Esau's book. And this is the last kingdom that, that will, the last kingdom of the Hebrews, okay, that's going to rule on the planet Earth. Right? Afterwards, how is Shah's going to reign, okay, over your nations, okay, over your people, over Israel, okay? Prophesy against it and say unto it. Prophesy against it. Okay. Wait a minute. Read that again. America is prophesied in the Bible. Okay. Set thy face. Also, also their destruction. Okay. Right. Set. just giving you the message. <laughs> I was waiting for you to go ahead. <laughs> Set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. And say unto it, with do what? The word, okay? And I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. He said he's going to stretch out his hand over thee and make thee most desolate, okay? The scripture says it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. So it's nothing but destruction and chaos in this place. Okay? Thank you, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 3. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste. That's why America is on a brink of destruction there. right now, e economic collapse, man. You know, they said November 1st, expect the EBT cards not to work, you know? So it's going to, be, it's going to lead to a total shutdown of America. These people want to start panicking, but they're going to lose their fucking mind. Uh, how many, is like 40, 40 million or 40,000 people that's going to go without homes on November 1st or something like that? Uh, there's a, a large number that's a, a, around November 1st, uh, they're going to go without a home. And I believe it was in, uh, shit, what was that? I don't think it was Atlanta, but they showed... Uh, video footage of everybody trying to just get a um, like an application just to fill out for a house. It wasn't even guaranteed that they'd get a house. It was just an application, and they were like flocking to this car just for an application for a home. That wasn't even guaranteed. So, like, America's definitely falling, man. People can't even get housing, and then I'm assuming we're gonna be going without food. Yeah, while wow, America's falling, wickedness increases, you know, and they. They're basically saying that they can only really raise the debt ceiling up until February. So that might be when the economic collapse comes. Okay? Or maybe they might so that means that they could they could fucking go buck wild with the, with the credit. You know? Well, yeah, uh, basically, just go, just keep building it up until it just, it, it ultimately, because that's what's going to happen. They can only... Borrow so much credit before this bitch just collapsed, man. Alright? It's like, it's like using a credit card, man. You can only keep using so many credit cards to pay off that credit card till you know, till you're freaking you know, bankrupt and then basically yeah, you gotta declare what? Bankruptcy, yeah, exactly. right? So that's the same thing that's happening with America. They keep taking more and more debt, and it just seems like they, like, you know, you pay off that one credit card, so it kind of seems like you're doing okay, but you still have now another credit card you have to pay off. Same thing with America. Yeah, no, it might look like it's doing good, but it's actually doing worse now. It's worse off. Yeah, well, more proof that America's down in the toilet is back, I want to say, almost five, five years ago, seven years ago, they would allow you to get a credit card. Like, when you, say you graduated from high school, you were just about turned in 18. Because I know, because I had one. They would issue out these uh, credit cards, right? And the limit was like, up to three, three hundred dollars. And after the security fees and shit you paid, it was like you already invested two hundred on a three hundred dollar limit, right? But they were issuing credit cards to like kids coming out of high school. They don't do that no more now. Okay, it don't matter if you're eighteen to to, to fucking 
fucking 20, 20 something, man. It's it's hard to build or establish any type of credit. Okay? You really have to invest a lot of money they're just, not, to, they're just not, to establish some decent yeah, credit. They're not, they're not issuing out them credit cards like they used once to. Because there's, there's, no, there's nothing, man. There was nothing then, there's really nothing now. Alright? So a lot of people that are trying to purchase shit, they can't they can't get no leasing, they can't get no credit card. Alright? To, to, to get the financing to buy the shit that they need. Alright? No, that was it, that was it. And um also uh remember the article about the Chase Manhattan Bank about how they're uh they're uh you know limiting people's amount they can withdraw and the uh you know transferring electronically transferring money you can't do that limiting all that stuff so eventually probably like all the banks are probably gonna start doing that eventually. Yeah, they're not they're not giving out credit cards no more, you know, not like they used to. Like like the brother said that you know the month is February. It doesn't they never give a limit? So the dog could crash before then. They could just spend so much and, and use up that dollar so quickly that. You know, it's just gonna make the dollar collapse. Which is the design in it. Yeah, that's, that's the purpose. So you might not even get to February knowing if, uh, you know, they're gonna come to an agreement because the dollar in America is just gonna collapse economically. Lord willing. Uh, yeah, these, yeah, these system glitches. Damn, man, what are you doing? Allow you to get, withdraw your money or when the EPT uh, stops working for like two hours, people just start panicking. Yeah. They might try to push the chip off, you know? Because it's, it's slowly going closer and closer to that. You know, you had the food stamp, the EBT cards, now it's what? The chip, you know? Yeah, which is an Obama deal, the Affordable Care Act, you know? Type, type, two, type 2 device, man. Life supporting or life sustaining. An implantable device. Which, like the brother just said, RFID microchip. Uh, verse 4 back in Ezekiel 35. I will lay thy cities waste, and I shall be desolate, and I shall know that I am the Lord. Yeah, the brother just right. He said, and I will lay thy cities waste. They show you in their movies, I am left. Uh, Independence Day, uh, in their games, The Last of Us, the, the movie The Road, you know, the basic deterioration, deterioration and uh, the degradation of America. Book of Eli. Yeah, Book of Eli, yep. Yeah. In other movies, they have a predictive program, is what they call it, you know? Because that's what's in the future of America. This is a non-existent future, okay? America is, 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 is decaying, you know? It's losing its power. Uh, uh, trying to call a de-Americanized world, you know? Basically, de-Americanized means a world without America, you know? And these nations, they, they know that America is, 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 is uh, weakening. It's only a matter of time before you attack them. This is basically going to be you know? When uh, uh, America puts his foot, uh, his, their foot in uh, Iran or Syria, whichever one they choose, they're going to inevitably be destroyed. Uh, no problem. Because you know? Russia, they were set up to protect the, the, the so called Islamic world, okay? the, or, the, or the enemies, so called enemies of America. Uh, Jeremiah, or yeah, Jeremiah 49 and uh, 15. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Yes, in front of the so-called Jews. 